Good morning everybody, this is Daniel with Peace and Plenty Farms. So we're getting started on this chilly morning. So I think it was 30 something last night was the low and uh, it's 20 something tonight. So this is my outdoor uh, incubator that I've got going. And uh, when the sun shines on it during the day, it uh, passive solar heats itself, so that's no problem. But at night, keeping it warm and keeping it going has been tricky. So I've got this one cord and that runs over and plugs into my uh, outdoor outlet, which is on a GFI circuit. And I've got that plugged into a six way which has a little uh, fuse on it. So this one heater is starting to blow the uh, six-way breaker and it's starting to blow the um, GFI breaker that's inside the house. Now, we're not really using that much electricity. It's just that the GFI breaker in the house is old and worn out and the six-way is old and worn out. So we're getting uh, extra caution there with with the breakers just because they're weak and they blow easily so for redundancy i ran another cord last night because it was blowing so many times it just goes in through our little cat door right there and i've got it plugged into a different circuit but um just inside of that window right there when I was remodeling the house, I put a home run in for a um, air conditioner in that window, window unit. And we ended up not needing it. We never put the window, we never put the AC in or anything. But uh, we went ahead and did a central unit. The county required a central unit and I was planning on just a window unit to get us by until we could afford the uh, central. But we had to go ahead and do the central in order to get the uh, certificate of occupancy, the CO. So, I, like I said, I've got a home run over there by that window, and I may get a longer cord and run it out, and that way I'll have a third electric uh, heater in here. So, let me bring you around here and show you. I've got this cover on here be, so that the sun doesn't uh, get too strong in there because when I'm not here. So, we've got that one heater and this light on the outdoor uh, outlet, the GFI outlet and the six way. And of course I've seen that light go out several times last night. So this is the uh, second one that I put in. And you can see the heat dial, it's not all the way up, it's only about halfway. And the other one is turned down, it's probably only a quarter of the way up. And our temperature has been um, 85, which is okay because 99.5 is where you want the um, styrofoam set at and it comes preset for that. So, like I said, just for redundancy, I've got a bunch of these electric heaters. I may plug another one into that other uh, home run outlet that I have. But this has been going for about 18 or 19 days. So it's time to take the automatic uh, turner. There's a turner in there that's turning the eggs. We'll take that out, we can unplug that, and we can just set the eggs in the um, bottom of the styrofoam. Now, we held the humidity at 45 uh, up until the last three or four days, and now we'll hold the humidity at 65 to 75. So we'll be adding more water, and I've got the water in here, this little watering can, so that the water will be warm when I put it in there. So I'm just gonna pause the video. I'm going to take out the uh, turner and put the eggs in and add more water. And I may actually remove this towel today and just try to get some, uh, some sunlight in there. So let's get this done and we'll move on to the rest of things today. Okay, so here's my egg turner. I got that out. One egg uh, broke in there. Boy, did that thing stink. But um, I've been smelling something that broke in there, so. We got the rest of them out. I didn't video it because I didn't want them exposed to the cold. I wanted to get them back in there. And what I did is I took the towel and I folded it up and I put it on up on this top shelf so as to protect the sun from getting magnified through the glass down into the styrofoam and getting it too hot. So that'll just protect the, the sun getting um, magnified and heating up the inside of that styrofoam too much. Well, that's uh, our first project for the day. Let's um, go get started on something else and we can grow together. Thank you.